Snow kiting is a relatively new sport, but it has so much potential in any country that has snow. Imagine, even a flat field can become a three-dimensional playground. There are so many possibilities with a snow kite. You can just ride and cruise with your friends. Oh, there's the freestyle aspect, which is definitely a little crazy. You can also use the kite in the mountains, like a personal ski lift. This means you can reach terrain that you would not normally be able to reach. The best part about snow kiting is that it's a clean sport. You're out there in the elements and the nature, breathing the fresh air. You harness the natural power of the wind. There's no pollution and you leave no permanent tracks. It's just amazing. I was a pro snowboarder for many years and now I'm only snow kite just because it offers me so many more possibilities. I can go up the hill really fast and then on the top I can decide if I, if I free her down or just kite down. I'm so lucky because my home is close to the Col du Lotare and I love it there. It's where I began to snow kite. He has the best terrain ever for sure. Same again, man. I like to ride the mountain with my friend and practice my freestyle. Last year we came to Norway with all our kite friends. I think there was uh, 15 of us. Woo. The first day was perfect. We rode all the day, we found so many nice places to kite that day with good snow conditions, very nice wind. I remember Guillaume jumped off a cliff it was very spectacular. I think it was at least 10 meters high and he made it look so easy. Later, the guys found a spot to do some really big jumps or small flies. I don't know what to call them. It was really amazing and totally crazy. The next day was really bad weather, very strong wind, bad visibility, but we went out anyway to see if it was possible in those conditions. As it turned out, we had a really good time. Okay, it was cold, the wind was really strong, 40 knots, but our small kites were perfect.
he had two days later the sun returned and we decided to all ride together. Oh, it was amazing to see so many kites all together. It was the first time I had to kite with so many people and it was really cool to share this experience with all my friends. In the end, we found a huge wind leap. We call it Joe's. It looks like a big wave. The wind was really strong on the top. It was amazing to make the snow fly. It was a really long day and at the end everybody was sad to stop but when the night is coming you have to stop. Last year I made a trip to America with Guillaume and Fabrice. <laughs> we had a great time road tripping around the States, finding places to kite and like everything in America they were big. We rode in Idaho, Wyoming, Montana and Utah but we know there is much much more to explore. The potential there is unbelievable. There are so many places to ride, it's mind-blowing. One day we rode in the desert in Idaho. It was a fantastic experience for me. So much snow in the desert. And we finally stopped the car by the road and rode off into the desert like cowboys. We found perfect natural snowpack and we nips like big waves. Another day the weather was not so perfect, but we found an interesting place with some trees next to the highway. It was so much fun to jump and fly between those trees. Even when the weather is not so good, you, you can still have so much fun with your snow kite. Yeah, we had a trip to Silva Plana last year in a place called the Bernina Pass. It's close to Samaritz in the middle of the Alps. It was the first time we used a sled and it was very useful. We filled it full of food and drink and spare clothing. 
the good thing is it's easy to ride with it behind you and you hardly notice anything even when you ride uphill. There is a frozen lake there in uh, Silva Plana and because I was a beginner I stayed there learning how to use the kite safely on the flat. As usual, Guillaume and Joanne found some nice terrain on the edge of the lake to practice the freestyle. I will always remember this day. It was incredible to watch the others climb the mountain with the kite. At this time, I didn't know it was possible to do that. So when I saw them all kiting up the mountains and then freeriding back down, I knew this was a new generation of winter sports. Yes, man. This is the glacier. Big blue sky. Can you sing this? Without a leaf, nothing, just you and your kite. Perfect, I love it. <laughs> <Yip, yip. laughs> oh! <laughs> The wind was pretty light, but we've still managed to climb up 700 meters and pack the kite and yeah, snowboard down. It was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 